Hello, my name is Birk. And I'm Sarah. And this little cute creature is Lacey. And we are surf tripping. This van is a Volkswagen Crafter 2007 model. Uh, we bought the van so that we could be able to travel more, uh, to always have our equipment with us and to just travel in our own pace. So we have already tried the van last summer. Uh, we were traveling in it for approximately a month. Yeah. And uh, now we are uh, planning a trip for six months uh, throughout uh, Europe. So this is the van. The van is approximately seven meters long. Uh, we haven't done anything with it other than attaching some stickers on it. So you know that surf tripping has arrived. Uh, we, don't, we didn't want any windows because we actually liked it because we have more privacy and it's, uh, it feels more like home whenever we are in the van and can lock the doors. But we are able to access through the back doors uh, our boards and we can even pull out our beds. I can show you. Through our back doors uh, we are able to fill up our water tank which is hidden behind here. Here we have all of our surfboards and surf equipment and in the back here it's more storage and it's the battery. So here we have uh, some more storage where we can have our surf wax and more surf equipment. We also have it on the other side, like spare fins for our boards in case it gets broken. So the bed in the van is also accessed from the outside. Now we can see that it's in couch mode, but it can also be in balcony mode. Hey. This way we can enjoy the sun or the stars even. Ah. <laughs> hey Lacey! <Crazy. laughs> Lacey is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. And she's not that lazy, to no? be honest, so maybe we should rename her. <laughs> should we name her crazy? So they call the breed a Velcro breed. She always wants to be near us with her pack. I think uh, she's really stubborn. She's a very happy dog. So if she can have some kind of freedom running around and gets enough cuddles, she, I don't think she mind if we are in north of Norway or in south of Spain, as long as she's with us. All right, so now we're going to show you the inside of surf tripping. The first, we can start on this side. We have our uh, shoe storage that we made of pallet wood. And we have this uh, gorgeous table that's uh, really practical because it's on a swivel. So you can swivel it out. And we have our uh, seating area where we put down some wool to make it a little bit warmer. Here we also have the 
the pallet wood. On the end here we made a little like secret compartment where we throw in all our dirty laundry. Uh, and then next we have our lights uh, that we that's dimmable so we can flip this one and we also have the fantastic fan so you can just lie in bed if it gets too hot you can turn it on so moving on we have our storage compartments on the side of the bed so we have three on each side uh, so these three are for me and then Sarah has her three on this side and then we come to the bed Right now it's in uh, the couch mode, as we call it, uh, or lounge mode. So we can relax here. We can do like this. We open up these and then we can pull these down and just drag it like this. And it goes down to bed mode. And if we want even further to have it outside into balcony mode, we just push the whole bed out and then we lock it in place here. So now it's in balcony mode. Now we have these small things here to put uh, our uh, books and different stuff in if we need to. The suitcase uh, storage slash electrics table we bought this second hand on uh, Finn here in Norway we put down pallet wood here so uh, we can uh, use as a table so the next thing we have here is uh, the the reader of the battery and uh, the solar so we're not taking in too much uh, Sun now because the Sun is too low but it reads how much battery power we have and how much sun is coming in and then the next we have the lifesaver propax heater so it's a thermostat and it's clean air coming in all the time so i really recommend someone that's going to live in a cold area for the propax heater so here is the kitchen area we have a long bench here and we cut out this hole so we could fit in the the cooktop and also the sink in one if we need water we just flip this switch so we custom made these drawers from uh, plywood uh, and you also need to have this some kind of lock arrangement to keep them in place when you're driving so we just built these in so here we have the closet we put up the mirror here uh, it's a bit too far down for me but it's perfect for Sarah and then also Sarah made this sign that stands surf tripping for our kind of concept what you want to call it and the closet lo looks like this we have our jackets and stuff hanging here uh, so we made this out of pallets uh, to have uh, a toilet someday uh, right now we don't have anything else that my clothes and some balls in here and we also have used this for like if we're a place where we can't pee outside we just pull this out and then you can go <laughs> in the van so this is the front of the van and we originally there were two seats there but we changed it for one seat because we wanted kind of a more open solution. And it's also nice when you're in bed to just not needing to go out of the van and into the van to be able to drive. So here we have uh, things for the dog and we also have some more things like food for the dog down here. We also have some tools for if the van breaks down or if we need to hang something up on the walls. Uh, and then we also built this, well not built, but put up this uh, so we can uh, get more privacy and also to insulate the van. So when we go to sleep we always put this up so you have more 
more insulation because the heat loss is usually in the windows. So, and we just put this all the way to the end here and then you kind of seal off the van so it gets totally dark and also quite insulated as well. So, so that's the van.